this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you could join me today for this celebration of fall sweater. I had asked you on Facebook and on YouTube, I had made a poll and asked you what you wanted me to create for you the most and the big majority was about a sweater. So I went to Vermont for a beautiful foliage uh, weekend for the Jewish New Year. We celebrate Rosh Hashanah in our family and it inspired me to create this beautiful foliage color sweater. I know you had all liked the leaf bag that I had showed you how to create a few weeks ago. So in that spirit, it's a little variation on the leaf pattern and here is the beautiful beautiful gorgeous sweater I would say the difficulty is intermediate it's not for beginners this one is for intermediate I will make it in two parts first part will be the body of your sweater which will be crocheted in the round and the second part will be uh, showing you how to create the opening for the arms and then making the sleeves okay so stay posted for part two today is part one i love love the heftiness of it and the softness and it keeps me real warm so it will be perfect for fall and perfect for winter too i love chunky sweaters but it's not too chunky it makes it very wearable i would definitely not put this sweater in the machine hand wash it and hand dry it for sure so the yarn that i use is from rios malabrigo but you could use many other yarns to substitute that i know that a lot of you are crocheting all around the world and will not be able to put their hands on this so in the info box down below my video i will try to find substitution even though they're not going to be exact exactly the same they will be very close okay deal get you covered stick with me kiddos stick with me if you are not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for it is totally free click on the subscribe button and join my amazing crochet family and also don't hesitate to hit that little bell to get notified every time i post something new you and also come and visit me on my instagram and all my social media so we can hang out more today one of you will be winning all the material to create that beautiful foliage sweater it is um, a beautiful quite expensive yarn and it took me uh, I would say about 30 12 to 13 skin of yarn to create it so it's quite a hefty giveaway today and to participate as usual nothing more than one be subscribed and two a comment in the comment box and that is it and then i will randomly choose somebody and as usual i will announce the winner in my next video that is always the way we do it and yeah so that is it if you are interested in knowing how to create this beautiful sweater then keep on watching and in the meantime happy crochet and i will see you next time bye for this tutorial you will need 12 skins of the yarn Malabrigo Rios in 227 Vulcan. You will also need a hook 5 millimeters, and you will need some scissors, a tapestry needle and a couple of stitch markers. We are going to begin with the bottom of your sweater by chaining and forming a circle. We are going to work from the bottom up. You want your border to be way smaller than your sweater will be and you want it to be a multiple of three. In my case, for my size, small, medium, I had 114 stitches in total. Now to form a perfect circle, you're going to chain seven drop your stitch, go back to the first chain you had made and then pass your crochet hook through the chain you just dropped and continue to chain without of course twisting your chain, your chain and then you're going to proceed by chaining the rest 114 for me in total and just like that you're sure to have a circle that doesn't twist it's a little trick. Once you have your 114 chains, you just pass the second loop into the first and you begin your first round. You're going to chain three, that is going to always count as your first 
a stitch in our case right now a first double crochet and then you're going to proceed by making a double crochet in each and every one of the chain you just created all around your first round I will meet you at the end of your first round. This is what your work will look like. A perfect circle that is not twisted. Look at this beautiful, beautiful foliage color. And now you're going to finish your first round by slip stitching at the top of the first chain three you had created at the beginning of your first round, right there. All right, your first stitch will be a front post double crochet. And whenever you will begin a round with a front post double crochet during this whole beautiful sweater, this is what you're going to do. All throughout your work, you are going to take your crochet hook, wrap it around from the back to the front, around your post, yarn over back through the post, and through the loop you had on your crochet hook. And that brings your stitch to the front of your work. And then you're going to make your first chain three and this will count as your first front post double crochet and then you're going to proceed by making two more front post double crochet in the next two stitches one in each stitch wrapping your crochet hook from back to front around your post just like so Yarn over back through the post. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two of the loops and yarn over through two of the loops. And you just create a front post double crochet. Let's do one more. Yarn over from back to front around the post. Yarn over and back through the post. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two loops. You have two loops left, yarn over through the left two loops. And just like that, counting the first chain three that we brought to the front, you have three front post double crochet. And now time to make three back post double crochet. And now go to the back of your work and come from the back to the front around the post, yarn over back to the post. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two of the loops, two loops left on your hook and yarn over through the two last loops. Let's do this again. Yarn over to the back of your work, wrapping from back to front around the post. Yarn over through the post, you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two of the hooks on your hook, you have two left and yarn over through the two left loops on your hook. And just like that, you created another back post double crochet. Now create the last one, repeating those steps. And that is what you're going to do all around that second round of your work, of the bottom border of your sweater. You're going to make three front post double crochets and three back post double crochet. Three front post double crochet, three back post double crochet all along that second round. And I will meet you at the end of the second round. We are at the end of your second round. This is what your work will look like. This stitch is uber cool because it allows for some stretch, which is exactly what you want for the bottom of your sweater. We're going to finish your second round by slip stitching at the top of the first chain three we had made. Finishing with three back post double crochet since we had begun our round with three front post double crochet and the pattern calls for our three front post double crochet followed by three back post double crochet. 
So ending with three back post double crochet and slip stitching at the top of the first chain three we had made at the beginning of our second round. For the third round, we are going to begin our round by putting our post to the front, the same way I had shown you at the beginning of the first round, wrapping your hook from front to back around the post and yarn over through the post and through the stitch on your hook. Just preparing the beginning of your row by bringing your first stitch to the front. Then chain three, that will count as your first front post double crochet. And you're going to repeat a round two for a round three and for the round four as well. Three front post double crochet, three back post double crochet until the end of your third round and for the fourth round as well and I will meet you at the end of your fourth round. Now round five will be one round of preparing for the leaf pattern. Now we had 114 stitches to begin with and we're going to decrease by 10 stitches to have 104 stitches in total for that first round preparing for your leaf pattern because your leaf pattern naturally will increase. That's just the nature of your leaf pattern. You have to increase to create those leaves. So eventually you will have that natural increase. But to have a multiple of eight and make this pattern work, what you are going to do during this fifth round is a round of double crochet all around and then 10 times you're going to skip one stitch and go to the next one and that just naturally will take care of decreasing by 10 stitches. Here you are at the beginning of your fifth round. No need to put your post in the front for that fifth round. Just chain three and it will count as your first double crochet. Double crochet all around while skipping a stitch 10 times evenly. So since we had 114 stitches and we want to get 204, you're going to make 13 double crochet and then you're going to skip a stitch. I'll show you how to. At the end of your fifth round, you will have 104 stitches in total. Make 13 double crochets. Once you have your 13 uh, double crochets, skip one and then make 13 double crochets again. And that is what you're going to do all around your fifth round. I will meet you at the end of your fifth round. You will have then 104 stitches in total. At the end of your fifth round, you are going to slip stitch with the first chain three you had made at the beginning of your fifth round. And now we are going to begin to create the pattern. And for that, your first stitch will be brought to the front. And then you're going to chain three that will count as your first front post double crochet. Then you will make three back post double crochet. So a back post double crochet around the next three posts. And then you're going to make a front post double crochet and then three back post double crochet. And that is going to be what you're going to do all around your work. A front post double crochet, three back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, three back post double crochet, all around your six round. At the end of your sixth round, you will slip stitch at the top of the chain three you had made at the beginning of your round. And then you're going to again bring the post to the front 
and then chain three and that will count as your first front post double crochet. Now you're going to proceed for the seventh round by making a back post double crochet around the next three posts. And we're going to begin our leaf pattern. Around the next front post double crochet from the previous round, you're going to make a front post double crochet and then a chain and around that same post another front post double crochet and that is going to be the beginning of your leaf. Now you're going to make a back post double crochet around the next three pulls and around the next front post double crochet a front post double crochet. So your pattern will be front post double crochet, three back post double crochet, front post chain front post in the next front post double crochet, and three back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, three back post double crochet, and then creating the origin, the beginning of your leaf. And you're going to continue this all around your seventh round, creating the cradle the beginning for your leaf. So you're going to alternate having one front post double crochet and then around the next front post double crochet having a front post double crochet chain one front post double crochet. So alternating like that and in between having your three back post double crochet I will meet you at the end of your seventh round. At the end of your seventh round you're going to again slip stitch at the top of the chain three from the beginning of your round, the one that counted as your first front post double crochet. And around that, bring the stitch to the front and make a chain three, which will count at the first front post double crochet from your eighth round. All right, so for your eighth round, make three back post double crochet. And then you're going to make a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round. In the chain one space, you're going to make a double crochet, chain one and double crochet in that same chain one space. And then around the post from the previous round, the front post double crochet, make a front post double crochet. You are widening the base of your leaf and then make three back post double crochets and around the next front post double crochet make a front post double crochet and that is going to be uh, your pattern for your eighth round a front post double crochet, three back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, double crochet, chain one double crochet, front post double crochet, and three back post double crochet. I will meet you at the end of your eighth round. To end your eighth round slip stitch at the beginning of the at the top of the chain three and let's begin our ninth round. Again, bringing the chain three to the front will count as your first front post double crochet. Make three back post double crochets. And let's widen this leaf a little more by making one post double crochet around the next two front post double crochet from the previous round. One and two. And then in the chain space, we are going to make a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And then make a front post double crochet around the next two front post double crochet from the previous round. And then back post double crochet in the three next stitches around the three next post from the previous round and this is going to be your pattern for your round nine i will meet you at the end of your round nine
each and every round will be finished by slip stitching with on top of the chain three from the previous round so i'm not going to repeat this every time but this is going to be through for the rest of this tutorial we are at round 10 bring your stitch to the front and chain three it will count as your first uh, front post double crochet make three back post double crochets and let's keep widening your leaf so remember when we decrease at the beginning and uh, I told you that the natural way of making this sweater will allow for increase and that is what we're doing right now naturally increasing while creating our leaves by making a front post double crochet around the next three front post double crochet from the previous round and then in the chain space making a double crochet chain one a double crochet and then three front post double crochets in the front post double crochets from the previous round And then three back post double crochet and repeat this pattern all around until you meet the end of your round and you slip stitch and we are at round 11 and again for round 11 bring your stitch to the front chain three and make three back post double crochets And then you're going to make four front post double crochets. And it's going to be your last widening of this sleeve. When you have four front post double crochet in the chain space, when you reach the chain one, this time you're just going to make two double crochets, no chain. And then you're going to continue by making your four front post double crochets here you go this is our last increase of the leaf then you're going to make your three a back post double crochet and this is going to be your pattern for this round i will meet you at the end of this round We are at round 12 bring your chain 3 to the front make 3 back post double crochets and now you're going to make a front post double crochet around the 10 next front post double crochet the 10 next stitches including the two double crochets from the previous round so 10 front post double crochets in total. And then you're going to make three back post double crochets and that is going to be your pattern for this 12th round i will meet you at the end of your 12th round and this is what your work will look like at the end of your 12th round you can definitely see the leaves getting created it's beautiful absolutely love the shape the color everything the texture in love with this pattern this is what it will look like from the back and we are at the end of your round 12 now we are going to begin to decrease the leaf to close it and soon create the next leaf in between. All right, so we begin around 13 the same way, bringing the chain three to the front and making three back post double crochets. Now 
we're going to decrease one stitch at the beginning of the leaf and one stitch at the end of the leaf and I'll show you exactly how to do that to decrease a front post double crochet. Begin as you would regularly a front post double crochet, yarn over and around the post from the front, yarn over and back through the front but now you're going to leave, you're going to yarn over through two of the loops and you're going to leave those two loops on your crochet hook and you're going to move to the next post and you're going to repeat yarn over and uh, around the post from the front around the next post right there and then yarn over and back through the post yarn over and through two loops on your hook And then you're going to do yarn over through all the loops on your hook right now and you just turned like that two front post double crochet into one and now you're going to make six front post double crochet so a front post double crochet around the next six stitches And when you have two stitches left, one more, front post double crochet. When you have uh, two stitches left, you're going to turn those two stitches into one. The same way I showed you before. So yarn over around the post from the front. Yarn over and back. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over through two loops, leave those two loops on your hook, go to the next post, yarn over around the post, yarn over and back, yarn over through two loops, and then yarn over to the three, through the three loops left on your hook, and again you turn those two latch last front post double crochet into one. So instead of having ten front post double crochet you're going to have eight front post double crochet now decreasing the leaf and for the rest now of your round you're going to do three back post double crochet and a front post double crochet and repeat this pattern all around so three back post double crochet decrease six front post double crochet decrease three back post double crochet, a regular front post double crochet, etc, etc. And I will meet you at the end of this round. All right, now for round 14, you're going to do your front chain three and your three back post double crochet. And then you're going to do a front post double crochet together, two together like we did before. But since we had decreased the round before, don't forget for your first uh, a post double crochet here to take the whole decreased stitch from the previous round and then the rest is exactly the same process for the decreasing turning two front post double crochets into one and then you are going to make a four front post double crochets and turn the two last stitches into one so in total your leaf will have six front post double crochets in total there you go decreasing turning the two last stitches into one front post double crochet two together making sure you take the whole decreased stitch at the end and then you're going to make three back post double crochet and this is going to be your pattern for this round and I will meet you at the end of this round. All right now for round 15 you're going to bring your chain three to the front and while we finish decreasing uh, the our leaf we're going to create a new one so you're going to chain three and in that same chain three post from the previous round you're going to make a front post double crochet this will be the beginning of your new leaf then you're going to make three back post double crochet as usual and 
and we're going to continue to decrease our leaf by making a front post double crochet two together two front post double crochets And another decrease front post double crochet two together so our leaf will have four front post double crochets in total now and voila and now you're going to do three back post double crochets And create the baby leaf right there making a front post double crochet a chain one and around the same post again another front post double crochet that's the base of your new leaf and this is going to be your pattern all around this round I will meet you at the end decreasing leaf creating a new one in between and this time you will be ending your round by the decrease so the front post two double crochet two front post double crochet front post two double crochet and then three back post double crochet and then slip stitching on top of the first chain three you had made at the beginning of your round and now we are ready for round 16 continuing to decrease one leaf while building the next all right to begin this 16th round, br round bring your chain three to the front again and then in the chain one space from the previous round you're going to make a double crochet and a chain and a double crochet in that same chain space and then a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round widening our baby leaf then you're going to make three of back post double crochets and we're going to continue to finish decrease uh, the existing leaf or old leaf <laughs> so make a front post a double crochet two together And then make another front post double crochet two together you will have two front post double crochet making this uh, the end of this sleeve then you're going to make three back post double crochet and then we're going to work on our baby leaf making a front post double crochet A double crochet chain one double crochet in the chain one space and then a front post double crochet and you're going to continue this pattern all around this round and I will meet you at the end of this round this 16th round this round 17 is where we uh, close officially our old leaf and continue with the baby one all right so slip stitch the chain three bring the chain three to the front will count as usual as your first fourth front post double crochet make a front post double crochet in the next and then in the chain one make a double crochet chain one a double crochet and then make two front post double crochets we are widening our new leaf then you're going to make three back post double crochets And you are going to close your leaf now by making a one front post double crochet around the two decreased from the previous round so take those two front post double crochet decrease and make one front post double crochet to decrease 
turning those two stitches into one and ta-da! first a leaf created beautiful then you're going to make three back post double crochets and you're going to continue in pattern Uh, the next uh, leaf will be your baby leaf where you will have two front post double crochets and a double crochet chain double crochet in the chain space and then two front post double crochets and I will meet you at the end of this round. All right, we are at round 18. Bring your chain three to the front and make two front post double crochets. And then in the chain space, make a double crochet, chain one double crochet. And then make three front post double crochets. We're basically repeating what we had done with the leaf before on a alternate leaf. So we did that. We're going to repeat this with this one. Then you're going to make three back post double crochet as usual. And what is left to do? from our old leaf is just making a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round. And that is what you're going to repeat all around for your 18th round. I will meet you at the end of your 18th round. Alrighty, for round 19, you're going to bring your chain three to the front as usually, and it's going to be counting as your first front post double crochet. And then you are going to make three front post double crochets. So four counting the first chain three. But instead of doing a chain and a double crochet, you're going to make two double crochet in the chain one space. And then you're going to make four front post double crochets. And you're going to continue this 19th round in pattern three back post double crochets and then a front post double crochet three back post double crochet and then continuing making your 10 front post double crochets and i will meet you at the end of your 19th round All right, look how beautiful. This is what your work will look like. You can clearly see one leaf was finished and then the other one in the middle is being created. And I don't know what happened to the footage of round 20, but I lost it. Round 20 is going to be just a front post double crochet in each and every one of the 10 front post double crochets and then three back post double crochet, front post double crochet, three back post double crochet all around. And I will meet you at the end of your round 20. We're going to tackle round 21. And our round 21 is going to be a round of decrease. We're going to decrease the leaf the same way we had done before, but I will show you how to make a decrease at the beginning of your round. So you are still going to bring, bring your chain to the front, but only chaining two and that will mimic the unfinished first front post double crochet. You have one loop on your hook, yarn over and around the post, yarn over and back through the post. You have three loops on your hook, 
yarn over through two of the loops on your hook and then yarn over through the last two loops and just like that you just turn those two first stitches into one and that was your first decrease and then you're going to decrease the same way we had done before in our um, old leaf you are going to front post six and then you're going to decrease turning the two last stitches into one so turning those ten stitches you had in um, into eight stitches And then you are going to make three back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, three back post double crochet, and then you're going to decrease the leaf again. And you're going to continue like that in pattern all around your 21st round. Okay, so round 22 again, we'll begin with a decrease and I will show you how to slip stitch right in the stitch you had decreased. And that's very important. And then you're going to bring the chain three to the front or making a chain two in our case. But I want to show you how important it is to take the whole stitch we had decreased in the round before. And then you're going to continue to do your decrease the same way I showed you. Uh, making an unfinished front post double crochet and then turning those two stitches into one and then you're going to do four only front post double crochet and then you're going to do a front post double crochet two together turning those two last front post double crochets into one so you're basically making the same thing uh, decreasing your leaf still making three back post double crochet a front post double crochet three back post double crochet and then you're doing your decrease four front double crochet crochet and your decrease all around that 22nd round the only difference is that at the beginning you begin with a decrease and this is the difference between the leaves we had done before but this pattern is going to be more of that. One leaf you will be beginning with the front post double crochet and then uh, the leaf will be in the middle and then once you're done with that leaf, the next leaf will be a decrease at the beginning of the leaf. And you're continuing like that for a number of rounds, creating the front and the back at the same time since we are crocheting in the round. Once you have five leaves, from the bottom of your border until the top, it is time to create the opening for your back and your front, so separating the back and the front. We will no longer be crocheting in the round, we will be crocheting in rows. All right, my friends, so that is it for part one. Part two will be posted on my channel in the next few days. When it is posted, you will find the link in the info box below my video and see you next time for the sleeves and the upper body happy crochet bye mm. eh, good enough <laughs> will be which ah. also don't hesitate to hit on that little bit and oh, mm. <laughs> sniffles and yes so yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yikeroonies, yikeroonies, And um, yeah. It do not know. Do not know. Do not know. Get you covered.